so as I cross this really cool looking bridge in Port Royal, Port Royal, it's always a tough word, Royal, Port Royal, Pennsylvania, um, I'm up here in Perry County, which honestly, I've, I don't think I've ever been to Perry County now that I think about it, but I'm up here. Um, we're going to a Class A, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, Class A, mixed wild brook, native brook trout stream called, I think it's called Kansas, oh, I'm gonna get it wrong, Kansas Valley Run. Yeah, Kansas Valley Run. Um, it's up in Tuscarora uh, State Forest. Um, I got a really late start today, uh, so I'm not sure um, we're gonna be the only people up there. It's also, although it's late, late winter, you know, sort of mid-March, um, it uh, really nice today, so there may definitely be some fishermen out. I've seen a lot of bass fishermen out. I guess I'm in Port Port Royal. Not bad. Not not a bad little town here. Um, but anyways, yeah. So let's get up to the state forest. We'll park. Um, not sure how big this stream is, so I have my waders. May use them, may not. We'll see. Um, really nice day today, though. So let's let's get out here and fish. We only have a couple hours, and we'll see what we can get. I'm in the state. I'm in the state forest now. Looking real good. A couple cabins around here. Um, really nice though I mean these these sort of south central forests are pretty pretty nice so I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna put the GoPro down I gotta follow my map <clears throat> getting out of here is gonna be difficult uh, without MapQuest if it doesn't work but yeah really nice um, really nice up here this is this is really spectacular so let's get out here and let's start fishing so I finally found some parking <clears throat> The creek supposedly is kind of down this way, so we're going to head down. I don't hear it at all, which kind of makes me think it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. But, you know, we drove an hour, we're here, so we're going to fish it regardless. So, first spot I actually was just at, I saw somebody fishing, unfortunately. Although I didn't really see a lot of cars around at all. So I'm following this, <clears throat> crossing this little wood log thing. Um, I really want to get to the other side. This is about half the stream. The other half is over there. Kind of splits right here. This isn't a very big stream. I wouldn't really, <clears throat> I wouldn't call it a small, teeny tiny stream either. Just got to our first little, first, first little hole right here. Just got a leaf, unfortunately. Um, yeah, first impressions, definitely a nice area. Uh, nice little stream. Um, just got caught on something again. Going up on another nice little stretch. I, ha I actually do have this one spinner that's a little bit smaller. Oh, oh, just got smacked. It's a little bit smaller. I usually never have luck with silverish white colored spinners, but this is silver and it's got a single hook on it. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Little brookie, little brookie, little brookie. Let's get him over here. Yeah, it's a single hook, single barbless hook. Let's take a look at this guy. First fish of the day. Wet my hands. Nice little brookie. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice four or five inch brookie. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Real nice little fish. Again, it's only a single hook, so it should be pretty, pretty easy to pop this out of him. Got him out. All right. Let's get this little brookie right back in here. First fish of the day on... Kansas, what is it, Kansas, um, Kansas Valley Run. So, all right, so we got a first brookie, very nice. Real quick before I forget, the spinner I'm using, um, right here is uh, another one of the Hoffman's Lures Inc. So, uh, obviously you saw I just caught a nice little brookie on it. So, just wanted to say thank you to the guys again at Hoffman's Lures Inc. Products have always been very good to me so definitely a fan oh there's a huge hole right here but there's there's all these uh, things in the way Ooh, oh just got smacked dang it yeah there's all this debris in the way dang it best holes usually have debris in the way it's just such as life you know oh got him got him Nice guy, nice guy, nice guy. Ooh, that'll be a little brownie. That'll be a little brownie. Let's get him over here really quick. We're jogging, we're running. Let's take a look at him quick. That'll be a nice little brownie. Okay, so we got the two two species of trout here already. Wet my hands. Take a look at this brownie. 
Oh, that's not bad. That's a nice six inch brownie for a stream this size. That's a pretty decent little brownie. Real nice red colors, wild brown town, very nice. All right, so we're gonna get our pliers out and get this guy right out of here, awesome. Oh, that's, an, oh, that's a nice cast, hold on. Was a nice cast, so I almost got freaking stuck. Oh, got him. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, that was such a nice brownie. Dang. That was like a 10 inch brownie. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, I just had a 10 inch brownie smack this. Right in there. Oh, my gosh. Single barbless hook, wouldn't you know? So I tried this second section. The creek's right back there. Uh, although I saw a couple fish, had a couple bites, didn't didn't really get anything. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a decent stream. If it, is it class A? Eh, maybe I guess. Not really. Um, so I think that's all we got from this stream. I may go somewhere else later today. So maybe I'll combine this footage with some other some other footage. I don't know. So all in all, good good day overall. Um, so thank you for watching and hopefully this video will continue to somewhere else so uh got another video for you today um i guess i'm on my way south of south central pa um i'm gonna fish the kana de Gwinnett creek oh here's another good shot of that i think these are the northern reaches of the blue mountains looking real nice yeah i'm pretty sure that's the northern reaches of the blue mountains which the Blue Mountains go all the way down to, you know, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, um, Shenandoah National Park, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that that's what that is. So, we're going to fish the Cana de Gwinnett Creek. So, if you're from where I'm from, the Cana de Gwinnett Creek is known for, you know, maybe for muskies, smallmouth bass, tons of fall fish. It's a warm water fishery, but... Um, in this 101 mile long tributary of the Susquehanna, there is a 15 or so mile long headwater section that, according to the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, does support, um, not a class A, but it does support wild trout reproduction. Okay, so we're gonna get up here, we're gonna get to the state game lands, uh, we're gonna find some parking, and we're gonna fish the upper reaches the headwaters of the Conor de Gwinnett Creek. So yeah. I can work out yeah. all yeah. these slaves. I'm so tired of these regular whips, these regular kicks. Need more dough, yeah, need more chips. You like my flow, man, I like your chick. So after driving through a ton of private property, I finally got to a state game lands parking lot. Um, I think I'm gonna follow this emergency road down to the creek, fish up for a mile or two. I'm gonna get to some power lines, and then I can head back on this road where there's a lot of cabins on. So. We're gonna head into the unknown and see if we can catch some wild trout on the upper reaches of the Conna de Gwinnett Creek. Let's see how this goes. So I just followed this little access road down for maybe, maybe just five minutes. Ooh, wow. So, Although we're not in the upper, upper reaches, I'm pretty sure the Conna de Gwinnett um, is another 15, 20 miles long until the true, true headwaters. But this section, wow, this section looks great. Oh my gosh. Light, uh, light snow rolling in, so that's, that's something. Ooh, that doesn't look good. That looks like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it's iron or something, but that, that orange does not look good. Jeez! Jeez, this wind is outrageous. On so my videos, I usually try to make it seem like I catch fish like a lot faster than I actually do. And a lot of times, a lot of times I do catch really fat fish really fast, but other times it's a struggle. Today, it is quite a struggle. Just getting up to these power lines now. Still looking for trout numero uno. I really cannot believe how many trout there are not. How many trout there aren't. 
it's like crazy. Like right here, for example. Nice big hidey hole. There should be just gobs. There should be gobs and loads. There should be huge loads of trout in this hole. And there like aren't any. I just don't freaking get it. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Nice brownie, nice brownie, knew it, got him. Take a look at him, knew it, knew it. Yes, oh, this is probably like a 12 inch brownie. Oh, that's so nice. 12 inch, upper reaches, kind of the Gwinnett Creek brown trout. Just got him off the hook. Let's take a look at him quick. Nice and fat, oh, awesome. I knew, knew there were some up here, awesome. That is so great, that is a nice, Nice brownie, nice fat brownie. Oh, hey brownie, hey brownie. All right, let's get him right back in. Get him right back in. Again, real nice brownie. Upper reaches of the Connie, Condi. All right, bud, we're gonna get you back in. Real nice, real nice. Oh, there he goes. We're in that big hole, awesome. Wipe that off. All right, so we just got our first brownie. Might fish a little bit more, but that's uh, excellent. Let's keep going. We're in state game lands. I forgot what number, but uh, yeah, we fished the upper reaches of the Con of the Gwinnett. Although it wasn't, um, it wasn't packed with trout. Uh, we saw probably three or four, um, either wild brown trout or native brook trout. We did manage that one really nice, probably 11 inch um, wild brownie. Um, anyways, I essentially just wanted to prove that there are wild trout in the upper Con of the Gwinnett, and that that was successful. So that's good. Um, kind of a short video, but. Uh, yeah, one nice uh, wild trout. So that's all we got for today. Thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.